Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ease 8. I am Shadow Vale, and it has been a while since we've actually played. I believe in the last episode we uncovered a bit of Donna's story, and I think it took place in this little city down here. Um, and now we're kind of here as Adol, and we're ready to go investigate and figure out what the hell is going on. So let us go and see more of this story. Bet you this is blocked here. This engraved door is shut tight. Cannot be opened by force. Well, I figured as much. You know when you get that sort of, like, <laughs> you've played games for so long that you kind of know what's about to happen? It's like when you know that there's like a hidden treasure behind like a little area when they try and force you to go in a direction and you don't want to go that way so you know to just turn around immediately and go to that dead end and then there's a treasure chest with some hidden treasure. It's kind of that feeling. Yeah, looks pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe. The Queen of Eternia. Titus Primeval Forest. Okay. Let's see. All right. I'm probably fine here. Can't really tell what these enemies are yet. can't move for some reason. Oh, that's a new enemy. I couldn't roll or anything. the button I was looking for. Boom, okay. I forgot how to select enemies. Let's go. It's just X. Alright, and these are weak to me, so fight on. This game has gradually gotten pretty difficult as time has gone on. Alright. Uh, well, this is not helpful. Because we currently don't have anybody. Let's see if we can swap in. Let's bring in Hummel. Boom shakalaka. Alright. Do we have anything to get rid of poisoning? Here's paralysis. There we go. We don't know what this guy is. I don't think he has a type. But it seemed like Rakota had some sort of extra damage against it. Alright, getting used to it again. Oh. 
<laughs> Hit the wrong button. Oh well. Overkill. Triple kill. Pentakill. Yeah. Let's see if we have any healing. Do we have healing? Probably not, right? I think we used it all in the last episode. Oh, we have one of these. Only gives me a hundred, though. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's not gonna help at all. We need ones that have, like, plus percentages for healing, because it's not gonna do anything. Or just need to get better at uh, dodging. Change types after I knocked him down? That was interesting. I didn't know that they could do that. You knock down an enemy and it changed type somehow? Yeah. Pretty cool. Come on, move. There you go. Oh dear. This game is crazy because there's like so much happening at once that it's difficult to like really pinpoint exactly what you're trying to do. So most of the time I'm just smashing buttons hoping that I'm doing the right thing. I mean, I don't even know how I just took damage there. I felt like I didn't even get hit. I think I'm gonna quickly just go back to the camp and heal really fast and then I'll come back in here but I'm gonna cut that out of the video so I'll see you guys back in just a minute so this is a pretty interesting thing that I didn't know I could do before is that when you go to the camps you can actually sit down and create some meals and it looks like the meal itself gives you 500 HP and it increases your experience gained or at least for that seafood quiche which is pretty neat. So then you also have um, increase of break rate if you make fish soup. You have an SP regen, I'm guessing, for your uh, skill points. And 600 hit points regained. And then we also have a colorful... I have no idea how to pronounce that French word. Meunier? Meunier? <laughs> That's my best bet. My best uh, attempt there. But... Yeah, so there's there's a bunch of cool benefits you can get from actually cooking. So that's an interesting little side note. But so what I've done here is I've made nine of these. I'm gonna make a bunch of these, probably as many as I can, because I have all the ingredients and I might as well. Um, and then it'll also give me the ability to heal a lot more, because I really didn't have anything to heal with, which kind of sucked. 
So anyway, that's that. I will see you guys back at the fighting area again. Dog. Of course, dog needs to ruin my audio. So here's an interesting little thing I just found. Apparently there's a little pond here. Oh god. I forgot how to fish. Apparently there's an interesting little pond here that Sahad can fish at. Let's see if we can catch something. Okay, mashing A. Oh god. There we go. What did we get? Caught a Diplomus. Grade B, 61 centimeters. In the tightest primeval... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being a fucking weirdo. Anyway, I thought that was kind of neat. Little pond here. You can see, like, areas where you can fish. There's usually, like, a little, um... Like, a ripple in the water. And then when you go near it, they mention something like, Ooh, this looks like a nice place to fish. Well, anyway. I basically came this, to this area again, just to kind of try and level up a bit. So I'm just going to keep grinding on some enemies and leveling up my skills and leveling up my characters. And uh, I'll see you guys back after I do that. Alright, bye bye What is it, Lakota? There's something in that thicket. What is it? Look at that stupid thing hanging on it on the shoulder of uh Hummel. <laughs> Could be a Stay sharp, everyone. Forgot I put that on his arm. That's so silly. Oh, it's a cute dino. This part what? Something special about this one? <laughs> Did we find a new pet? I'm gonna catch it. Get it, Rakota. It's certainly popular with the ladies, but it seems harmless, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I've never seen such adorable primordials before. They're pretty cute. <laughs> uh, almost soft side. You can be like a dark, uh, brooding warrior, but these cute dinos definitely make you huh. melt. Like wandering off. <sighs> I haven't felt so at ease since I arrived on this island. Where did Rakota go? the squirt go that's what I was asking she ran off that way to try to catch that primordial well we better get her before she she's runs gone. into mama dino well she's gone now forever wait a minute how far did she go at all we gotta find her right away damn it I love Rakota she's not allowed to leave the party Oh, oh, I thought that bug was like coming across the uh coming across the the canyon there. I was like shit, they can fly across that? That's sick. Huh? It's one of those critters. It's leading us into the cave. Let's go. What do you think, Adel? It's... I honestly... It's suspicious as hell. It's gonna lead us into that cave where giant mama dino exists. You think so too, huh? 
I think we should go after that critter. Alright, let's hit the safe spot and heal up. Oh. I guess I can't get that. We have to go in! Thou must! Thou must do what I say! Hmm. Alright, I don't see anything yet. This must be a lair for a larger species of primordial. That's exactly what I was thinking. Her crow might be in danger if she wandered in here. This place does look dangerous. Adel, let's find the squirt and get out of here as fast as we can. Alright. Let's do it. Primordial Den. Got some eggs. Oh, is that Rakota? Oh no! She's dino food. Hey, squirt! So she was here after all. Let's get her, Adel. Hold on, Sod. There might be primordials hiding nearby. Oh, oh right. Well, you'd better damn well... No, for sure that there's definitely primordials here. Rakota! Get up! Rakota! Are you okay? Please be still! Uh, so many! So yummy! Uh. <laughs> she ate all the eggs. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Where am I? What happened to all the yummy food? <laughs> Looks like she woke up. This is a dangerous place for us to be at all. We need to get out of here now. Hmm. We have company. Uh-oh. Cute dinos are here. They're gonna eat us. Ah, the little ones. Watch out, Laxia. Hmm? Oh shit, they're mutants. Ah! Oh, it's the mama one. When they're around, they're evil. Was this a setup? Yes, the cute ones lured me in here. Then they put me to sleep. It's all my fault you guys got tricked into coming here. Uh, are you saying these primordials are intelligent enough to set a trap? Let's talk about this later. Oh, he's right. No. Alright, let's see. Um, duh, 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 duh. I think we're good with our party for now. Because I'm trying to keep everyone actively leveled around the same amount. Um, as far as equipment goes, I believe we're already at the maximum amount. This is all just like... Cosmetic shit. I think we're good. Let's just fight. Alright. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm getting annihilated. Jesus! There you go, Sod. That whirlwind shit going. Kill all those little ones. Here we go. Take him out. Boom! Crush him! Woo! Damn, Sahad. That's why I love his character. He's amazing. Was that all of them? <laughs> no. There's still one evil one left. Maybe we can make it not evil. More are coming! Uh-oh. They just keep coming. How many of these things are there? At all. We gotta fight our way through them. 
Wait. Uh oh. Something's coming. Is that what I think it is? Primordial. Uh oh. They look like Velociraptors. They're the dominant creatures in this lair. They're gonna eat them. Oh shit, they're eating all the little guys. Go, 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 run away. Get out of here. These things look terrible. I don't want to fight them. Too many of them. What the hell happened in there? Somehow we made it out. Only the strongest can survive here. Agreed. We're far away from the civilized world. We must never forget that the primordials have dominion over this land. Huh? What's, What's the matter? matter? I've caused you trouble. I apologize. Rakota, you don't have to apologize. I got... It could have easily been me who got captured instead of you. True. That's right. Besides, all us castaways what washed up on this island, we're sort of like a family, you know? Family always sticks together, helps each other out. Family? Yep. All right, let's get out of here as fast as we can. We must tread very carefully as we proceed, Adol. All right. Yes. Let's go. Saving time. And now we move on. Like Yanma, the Pokemon. Like giant Yan Mega. Get away. There we go. These things I don't like. Get away. I don't know how to not get poisoned by those things. I guess just run back to the crystal and heal. Easiest way to keep going. Let's go. Yeah. Alright, what's over this direction? Hey, treasure chest. Tech Titan War, baby. Alright, then we gotta go around that way to the left. So let's heal first. And then head on out. Man, how long is it going to take us to get down to that village or the city? Oh, look, we got a bunch of these guys. Shit. Whoa, it's these critters. It's the same species that captured Rakota. <laughs> get him. I think Sahad was the most effective on these guys. Slam 
slam a ding dong, baby. Get out of here. Yes. Come here, Yon Mega. Boom. I feel like that's the easiest way to take them out. Just wait for it and hit the flash. Then basically they're just easy to kill. Big old egg up there. How do I get that? There we go. Cool. No idea what that was, but it looked like a giant egg. Hey. Uh-oh. We gotta get back to the village. Alright, after this battle, we're gonna have to get back there. Whoops. Alright. How do we get back? Where's our map? There we go. Um, doo -doo -doo. Is this where our camp was? Where the fuck is our camp? Where was the castaway? There it is. Yeah, because now we can travel between all the crystals. It's not a big deal. We'll go back, we'll help the village, and then we'll fight. Let's do it. Creeping beasts of yore. These beasts from the north are especially strong. One misstep could mean our end. I don't know what the hell that thing is. All right, let's get ready. Recommended let's level of 37. I don't know if we're level 37 yet. I think we're pretty close. <laughs> this song is amazing though, that's for sure. Alright, come on. Out of my house, bitch. I'm coming. Believe in your weapon. What? Just kill it with this. It's easier. I think you get more points if you don't use your mega powers, but whatever. I don't like those things. They have no weakness. That I know of, at least. Come on, boys. We're at... I don't even know what these guys are. Boom. Come at me. This is one of the best songs in the game, easily. Where are they at? My turn now. Let's 
Oh, come on. So cool. Oh, you get more points for doing flash guards and flash dodges or whatever. We need more spirit. Good, good. Damn. Sister whatever is killing it. Shit. Bitch. They took out a bunch of our barricades though, which sucks. Alright, this has got to be the boss wave now. Really? It was nothing. Ah, Alright, bring it on. Get him. Take him out, quick. Oh god, there's another one. Shit. He's going for the main gate. Take him out. Oh shit. Whoever just launched that cannon is a fucking amazing. Come on, boy. There we go. Oh god, these sharks are a pain in my ass. Got him. my shit. Stop destroying my barricades. There we go. Okay. Come on, Sahad. Take them out. Both at the same time. Look at that. I got them both perfectly stuck there. Boom. Damn. That was sick.
Oh man, if you can do those without taking damage, you're really, really good at this game. I'm happy I could help. Hey, we did it! Yeah, 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 yeah. we did it. Let's hit that gong. Boing. <laughs> Those are really fun. I'm sure they get a lot harder as things go on. A rank! Not as good as S, but still pretty good. Thank you very much. Creeping beasts of yore. A double A. Hey, we got a bunch of fancy items. Hermit's Remedy, Viv Vivine Bitters? Okay. Oh, I guess those are good for just like crafting things. If you guys haven't done it, definitely go like find the soundtrack for this game. I'm sure it's here on YouTube somewhere and just listen to the whole thing. It is so good. It came with my collector's edition of the game, so I got like a CD of it and I just have it on my phone and. I'll I'll legitimately just listen to it while I'm driving or something. It's it's that good. I promise you you will not be let down by that soundtrack. Alright, let's see. Oh, we have some new quests going on here. Gift for Master. Find the newcomer. Oh, there's a newcomer. There's a kid. Alright, so apparently if we talk to this guy. Oh, you found a new formula. All right, let me check it out. We gave him that delight formula we found earlier. Oh, we can we can do a full potion. Awesome. So how do we brew the full potion? Oh, that is sick. 100% health? Hell yeah. Give us as many as humanly possible. Nice. Okay, then we can make antidotes. What does the sweet remedy do? Ancient remedy that gives a sweet experience. Oh, experience plus 100. Shit, so you can literally just craft experience. That's really interesting. Please come again. All right, we'll mess around with that later. Um, I just kind of want to show you like as much as I can with some of these things. Like that. Where does Rakota hang out? <laughs> Oh yeah, this is that person. Um, Rakota hangs out over here, doesn't she? No, nope, not this time. Um, well, I had just seen her by the fire. Oh, here we go. Here's Rakota. Okay. Quest. Nope. Nope. I would like to talk to Rakota. A gift for Master. Let's talk! Something I've been meaning to tell you. Besides my father and mentor, there's someone else who's important to me. My Master. Master is big, Master is strong, Master is smart! What are they a Master of? I'd like to meet your master. Sure. I want everyone to meet master. Master will be happy to meet them too. As of late, I've been thinking that I'm still kind of weak. That's why I want master to train me. So I need to give him his favorite food. What's your master's favorite food? Master's favorite food is ripe mangoes. He loves them more than anything. Master doesn't speak human language, but I can understand him. Also, Master loves high places. Can I see your map? Sure. Dakota looks at the map. Master should be somewhere around the roaring seashore. My mentor told me, so it must be true. We should see him if you have the time. But don't forget to bring a ripe mango. I don't know if I have- do I have mangoes? I think I had them at one point. Might have eaten them all, just as like, health. 
Um, cabbage, corn, ba ba ba. I guess I'll have to go figure out where mangoes grow. Or what enemies drop them. I can do that later. Alright, well we picked up the quest, so... We're good there. Now what was that last one? Uh, let's see, who was the other one? Uh, test a prototype, a gift for master. Oh yeah, so... Recently captured a new Picard, but it ran away almost immediately. I really wanted to keep it here. Please come see me. Oh, so this is... Raya. Where do they hang out? Check the cave real quick. Sexy priest lady. We got Lexia. I forgot this lady's name. Oh, Allison with one S. Very interesting. Um, we got a big ass treasure chest. All right. So they must be out here up on the cliff somewhere. Because that is not them. They're not with Kathleen. Wasn't there a thing over here? Oh, here we go. There he is. Find the newcomer. Hey, got a minute, Adel? Sure. What's up, dude? So, basically, one of the Pickards ran away. One of the newer ones. I don't think it was used to the village yet. I need to capture it before it leaves the village. Can you help me? Any idea where it went? Well, I've searched all over. It's really good at hiding. But it's been spotted a few times, so I'm sure it's still in the village somewhere. If I had to guess, it's hiding in a place where... It's hiding in a place where don't go that often. Great. <laughs> I would say we don't go very often. Good at this kind of thing. Let's do it. R really? <laughs> Alright. If you're helping, this will get taken care of in no time. Once you capture it, bring it back here. I'm counting on you. Alright. So it's in a place where we don't go very often. Hmm. Let's take a look down here. We can check this box too and see if there's anything that washed up. Oh, hell yeah. Bunch of stuff washed up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there it is. I found it. Oh, it's like a little... What is that thing? It's like a groundhog. Pickard ran away. Oh no. Come back, dude. I need you. The hamster is not here. Where has it gone? Be strong. Getting stronger. Doggy and others in a pinch. Try to help from now on. Don't forget, my present! This is Dina. This is Euron. Licked. Rest. I'm baffled. I don't know where this thing is. I guess I'll just go try and find it, and uh, I'll see you guys back once I do. Goodbye. Found him. He was up on the ship behind this little- Oh, he landed in the fire! Oh no! Okay, now he's going in the cave. He was like right here up on the boat on the side, so when I walked up past him, I just didn't see him. I guess my camera was pointed up, and I would have missed him standing right there. Alright, so let's get on in here. Now he's got to be in the dorms here. Where are you hiding, little guy? 
I'm gonna find you wherever you are. Hmm. Oh, that leads me to believe that he is in here somewhere. Haha! -ha. Ah, look, he's on the shelf! He looks like a toy. <laughs> oh no, it is a toy! No! It tricked me. Hmm. Oh, is he under the bed? No. Hmm. Where are you, you little jerk? Rest. I don't want to rest. I want to find the Pickard. The Picard. The Pickard. The Picard. Oh, hey! He's in the basket! It's another doll. Damn it. There's no way that's a doll. Come on. Alright. There he is. That's not a doll, he's moving. No, it has an odor. <laughs> he stinks. You're caught, boy. I gotcha. Captured a Pickard! I'm just calling it a Pickard, even though it's probably Picard. I don't care. There you go, Rhea. Thank you, Adol. You've been a big help. Yo, you're monstrous, Groundhog. Huh? This little fellow looks a little singed. Wonder what happened? Well, he fell in the fire. Maybe it's a clumsy. <laughs> I think it is. Every Pickard has a different personality. That's what makes this so much fun. <laughs> no. Uh, but that doesn't mean I actually like these guys or anything. I just can't ignore them, is all. And taking care of them is really relaxing, too. Eh. When you think about it like that, they're actually helping me out. Hey, hey, settle down. I'll feed you soon. Anyway, thanks a lot for your help today. Oh yeah. You should take some of the crops I harvested earlier. Egg- Boys giving me eggplants? Weird. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work. <laughs> I'll let you know if I need your help again. Alright, dude. Better not give me eggplants next time, Jesus. <laughs> that was great. Bet it was, Adol. Productivity has increased. Alright. Hey, look at this, we're growing eggplants. Nah, just leave them for now. These are tomatoes? Oh, sweet peppers. I'm good. You little rascals, stay in your cage. Alright, what was it that Rakota needed? Oh yeah, she wanted me to go find the master, that's right. I need a mango for that one, so we can't do it. But we can go talk to this dude down here and see what he wanted. He has a prototype or something for us to test out, I think. Let's see. You've defeated some primordials. Nice. What have you got for me? I guess he wanted us to kill the primordials in a previous episode. Took a bigger beating than I expected. I don't need to use stronger base materials. Anyway, now I know what I need to improve the design. Thank you, Adol. You're welcome. Hmm, gotta admit, you're pretty damn reliable. Hmm, might be good practice if I strengthen this one real quick. Well, just be a second. There we go. 
Here. Consider this your payment for services rendered. Dragon Pauldron? Hell yeah. It's a beautifully ornate shoulder guard. The surface is decorated with an intricate engraving. Huh? Huh? What are you staring at? You must really like crafting. Who asked you? Damn fool. Oh, man. Quit jumping to conclusion. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Not like I said something bad about him. Anyway, you can never know what danger awaits you. Don't let your guard down. Jeez, dude's mean as fuck. Well, I got his approval at least. Alright, let's see what that actually is. Might be something cool to add. As an accessory. Dragon Pauldron. Oh, you don't actually get to really see it. But it adds 10 strength and defense and resist bleeding. And I'm assuming maybe it's a reference to like another game or something? Is the Dragon Pauldron some sort of reference? I am not sure. Um... Do I have his regular... Silver armor? Oh, it's the... Yeah, oh, this is sick. I might just leave him in that, honestly. Because this is like his original design from uh, Ease 1. I kind of like that. As much as I like the design, it's definitely like taking away from this sort of like... So this is the sailor uniform. Cool fencer. Pretty sure this is like his... Tropical swimwear. I think the cool fencer is the one that's like just the classic for this game. Okay. So if we look at the board, we should only have... Yes, Rakota's left. I don't necessarily know where the mango is, so I'm going to need to check that and I will be right back. Okay, so if you guys want to find mangoes, Schlam Jungle is apparently the place to go. So hit up the jungle, and then there should be some mango trees somewhere for us to find. We just need to go find them. So let's do it. Oh yeah, don't we have something that we can put on? Like boots or something? Floating shoes, there we go. Uh... Oh, what is this? Pirate's Note 4! More than half of us have died since we came ashore on this island. Things have gotten a lot quieter now that those treacherous mutineers have keeled over. Even a fool knows that riches and power won't help you on this island. Pity I didn't realize that sooner. Alright, interesting. Get some honeycombs while we're here. Might as well. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm not really sure which way to go, so I'm just going to kind of run around until I find it. I might cut to when I get find the mangoes, just so I can show you guys where it's at. There's a mango tree. Okay. So, got to kill some of these enemies in the swamp. Don't forget to put the boots on when you're in here. If you don't wear the boots, you'll sink. But anyway, look, you can see there's a mango tree right here. And if you look at my map really quickly, hang on, sorry, hit the wrong button. Nope, that's not the map I wanted. This map. I think I went to one of these crystals. Where's the... Okay, so I started there, and I came through, up around, and I ended up here. And right where I am, if I zoom in a little bit, there's the mango tree. So if you guys need to find it, there's one of them. Now, how do I get it? Hmm. Oh, maybe I need to climb up this first. Let's put on the gloves. There we go. Yeah, so you need the gloves to get up on here. Then I'm assuming you can then jump off. And there you go, you knock them off. So we got two mangoes. Leave it to me. Allow me. 
Come on down. You're the next contestant on Get Your Ass Kicked. Anyway, there we go. We got the mangoes. We're all set. Now we can go back. Alright, so if you guys take a look at your map now, you'll see that we are in Towering Coral Forest. And if you want to, you can zoom out here. So here's where we need to go to for Rakota's quest, Gift for Master. I believe we can get through there by going around and coming out onto the beach. Now we'll find out in a second if that's actually true, but here we go. Oh yeah, this is where we fought that monster on top of this bridge. That was pretty cool. Forgot about that. So long ago. It's like two years ago at this point. Wanted to try and start this series back up because I really, really like this game and I didn't want to play it without recording it. So I think I'm going to get back into trying to record this one a bit. Okay, so this should be the right way. Let's double check. Yeah, we're in the right place. All right, let's do this. Now, the problem is is that we have this big boulder here. Now, I think we need a specific amount of people to knock this down. And we have it now. After sending little Perot, everyone in Castaway Village arrives All to help. Right, let's clean it up. Hell yeah, doggy. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Kapush, got rid of it. <laughs> Thanks. Now... Will this lead us to where we need to go, is the question. Or should I have stayed on the beach? I guess we'll find out in a minute. This is an entirely new area. Leave it to me. On guard. We are not sure of what these enemies are. Jesus. Hey, Dick, can you chill out for a second? It looks like these guys don't really have any uh, weakness, so you can kind of just blow through all of them. They're kind of weak, too, in comparison to our level, I would assume. So, yeah. Just keep on going up the mountain. Alright. Are we here? How do I zoom in? And we should be getting to the right area, I would hope. So you can see that- oh, there's Master right there. Okay. There we go. Cool. What's up, dude? Monkey Man. Master Kong. I knew you already- Wait, I knew you already knew I was coming, Master. <laughs> you did? Hmm, intimidating. I've never seen anything like him before. Is he a baboon? A gorilla? How dare you! Uh, uh, was it something I said? Master says, I am who I am. <laughs> I think he's letting us know he's more than just a monkey. Mm -hmm. uh, I apologize. Mm. Looks like a Pokemon. Master says, don't ever forget it. I always forget Grookey's like, final evolution in Pokemon. This is what he looks like. Seems very proud of himself. Anyway. Master, I came because there's something I wanted to ask you. 
You see? No, 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 no. No need for words. I knew you'd say that. Impressive. Somehow they understand each other. I know. Oh yeah, the right mango. Can I give it to Master Adol? That way he can train me. <laughs> sure. Yay, I'll give it to him right away. Talk to Master Kong. I don't deal with rude people. We gotta bring him a ripe mango. I have them though. Didn't I get a mango? Yeah, right here. Alright, hang on, I'll be right back. I'll figure this out. Okay. So this is where we went wrong. In order to get a ripe mango, which is a completely different item than a regular mango, you need to go back to Castaway Village with four mangoes and trade them in for a ripe mango. So we're gonna do that now, and you can do that at Dina's trading post. So, we'll trade, we'll get our ripe mango, and then we will go back, hopefully, easily, to where we were before. And so I'll see you back at the Angry Ape in just a second. Alright, here we are, back at the Ape Man. Offer Master Kong a ripe mango? If you offer it, Rakota must fight Master Kong by herself. Let's make sure that she has the proper healing. Okay, so she's... F okay. Good. Alright. Let's do it. I believe in you, Rakota. Here you go, Master. Please train me. Being trained by a giant freaking ape. Holy shit. Seeker of the Way of Solitude. He's got like leaves growing out of his head. Holy shnikes. Alright, let's go. Run away. Get him. Oh god. need to heal really fast. What do we got here? Um, if we look at our meals... Where did our meals go? Uh, let's go with the experience gain one. Ow! Jerk. Run away! Oh no. Let's see if we can heal one more time. Oh, that dragon tree fruit thing is one of the ones that was like crazy powerful. Wow. Alright, so we have a full potion. Let's just use that. Oh dear. 
It's going Super Saiyan on us here. Holy shit. Yikes. Uh oh. There we go. Come on, unleash it. Take him out. Go, Rakota, go. Oh my god. Ba boom! Wow. Still didn't really fully kill him. Come on, baby. Go, 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 go. Alright, we got him knocked out. That's it. It's all over, baby. Got him. Boom! Good job, Rakota. Look who's the master now! <sighs> yes! Rakota learns Spiral Dive. Thank you for teaching me your special skill, Master. I'm honored. Hmm. I don't know if he was fighting you at his full power. Of course he wasn't. That wasn't even a fraction of Master's full power. Hmm, <laughs> what did he say? You each have potential. Given the opportunity, I will train each of you. But don't forget the ripe mangoes. That's what he said. <laughs> Isn't that awesome, everyone? Yeah, I can't wait. I don't know if that was supposed to be like... <laughs> like a knock at him or what. Master says, me too. Well, and then I suppose training is over for today. Hmm. I need to prepare before we face him again. Alright, cool. So I guess we have a new lane of opportunity to level up our skills. Farewell. We will meet again on the shore of the rising sun. <laughs> As you wish. Thanks for training, Master. I really appreciate it. See ya. Jesus. Hope he's alright. Jeez. Okay, let's go everyone. We'll see Master again real soon. <laughs> alright, completed Rakota's quest. And her purple has increased. So that gives us a max HP increase by 100. And Adol's max HP increase by 50 somehow. Alright. So, now that we're done with Rakota's quest, we can then get back to... Let's see... Story destination... So we were in the primeval forest. Before we got so rudely interrupted by an attack on our village, and then we just kind of got sidetracked a little bit by uh, some of the side quests there, but either way, I think that was fun. There was a lot of cool stuff there that we uh, didn't even know existed until we just kind of went back and found it, so it's always fun to try and find new things. But anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode there because it's getting a little long at this point, so... I hope you guys liked the episode. I'm going to try and start filming a lot more of these in the future. Just because I really, really, really do enjoy this game. And now that I'm so far through it, at least, I can't really play it by myself. So I'll at least try and record more episodes. So until next time, guys, see you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.